Greetings, salutations, it's Tuesday, and I hope your Tuesday's going amazing. If it's not, good vibes. If it is, good vibes. I digress. So we're kind of getting back into the looking at the forgotten mechanics as well as looking at the new cards from the, what they call it, the Tamriel collection they dropped. So this time we're looking at Redoran, and Redoran means rally. So what we've done is we have modified our Rally Boys deck to, oh, and I'm going to get this wrong. I did I did some research on tr how to pronounce it, but I couldn't find anything official. So, Ikater? Ishater? It's Orcish. So, Ichater? The Ichater Riders. Ichater Riders. These guys. It is a three cost, one, one charge. Summon. Friendly creatures gain Rally this turn. So, running it alongside a standard Rally package. Ambitious Hireling. Emperor's Attendant. Only running uh, two of the Faded Wraith Boys. And our goal is to get a massive Imposter's Mission. And then keep cycling with, with Apprentice Necromancer. We've done it before. It's fun. Let's see if the new rally card actually helps us get a little bit more value out of this. Alright. In the meantime, we can stare at a sleeping Farkas. It's a sleeping Farkas. It's quite peaceful. He's actually usually awake right now, so I'm not going to bother him. If I bother him, then I've got to turn off Cat Cam. Hmm. Assassin. So what we've got to do is we've got to get a Dramora Channeler in hand. None of you are Dramora Channeler, but you're early rally, so we'll keep you. We have the capability of taking over lanes now. Because no play on turn one. Fingers crossed he doesn't have... I was not going to say Mud Crab. I was going to say... Knife Girl. I will follow Knight of Nisus. I don't really want Knight Rallied. Hmm, how do we not get overrun here? is actually holding up pretty well. We just have to get some sort of drain to rally onto. Alright, our opponent is apparently concerned enough that they're trading. So what I'm going for is developing two creatures to oppose two creatures. I think that's going to put victory out of reach, though. The green pack stalker is nice. It's a guard. Move to protect the Orc Clan Captain. We do have Arms Master who's up to a 3 charge. What was so important that he gave away a 5-5 five, five guard? Not that Cliff Racer. Mortal Watchman. Meet your doom. Here's how it's 
What are we at? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16. We're hopelessly off lethal. We have trades here, but no guard. Arrest can answer a single creature. It shall go. Great shall be your reward in paradise. That creature. Sniveling cowards. Meet your doom. My family has endured enough. Although I could get a random item and then develop all Velothi. He's either got it or he doesn't here. He's got it. GG. We got really close. We were going to be able to close it out next turn. We did not find any of our health gain. Because, like, we run Barrow Stalkers. We run our um, Charge, Redoran Forerunners. And we run the um, Channeler. Didn't get any of them. So I'm okay taking the L there. We'll get a word in from our sponsor. It's water. Stay hydrated. It's good for you. Fact about water. Old number 12 legend. Whee. The average person can't live without it. If I can get some early board presence, sorry, that's four drops. All right, so there went the early board presence idea. I want to be an assassin. Although you do trade with that, which is kind of nice. I swear I run 12, two drops. Maybe keeping a three drop was greedy. I don't think it was though. Hit on ambitious hireling is nice. Great, no. Nice, yes. Have business with house blood. Just plays that out tempo. All right, there's a channeler for us to hit. Or ambitious hireling again. So you send that to a 4-4, four, four, which does not trade there. We'll go for this and try to develop the imposter's mission next turn. An 8-8 eight, eight for 4 should put us ahead on the race. Yeah, he's getting nervous. Fourteen is only five off lethal.
But we're at 8, 9, 10, 18. We're representing lethal. Barring javelin or other shenanigans. Channeler, why won't you pick up these buffs? All right, so we're gonna have to start trading over here. The red your death. Oh, order. I just want a chance to myself. I smell the stench of the living. Because we could have had rally two on this guy. Over anyway? GG. That's twice now, we just haven't found the cards we need. We'll go for a game three. Had we played channel in the last turn, we only would have healed for four. I don't think it would have made a difference. But had we rallied onto it, we would have healed for six, which would have kept us in the game. Barring Swift Strike, which he was probably running. Alright, fingers crossed on game three here. Unstable Madman is a good recipient for rally. Or 5th Legion Trainers. It's actually a really nice curve if we can keep everything alive. And not execute removal by Spider. You would have been helpful last game. I think we've got a good hand here. I am pretty content with this. Might be able to bait him into trading there. If he doesn't take the bait, what's our new plan? Just level you up? Because we have Necromancer specifically for bringing this guy back because he's a 2 2. Those are fish. Fish are bad. I serve the house with valor. We're not going to break a rune. Rotor and Forerunner can deal with one of the fishies. Faded Wraith. I'd like to land on an Oathman. We'll probably play this out next turn. Take our rally. If we hit Oathman, we play him. Good old four cost eight eight. If it lives Imposter's Mission next turn, alongside an Unstable Madman,
That actually counters us very well. You took a wrong turn, stranger. I don't want you getting rallied. Um Let's develop this guy this turn. Try to see what other removal he's got. And notably, if he tries to rely on be at peace again, he could be singleton. That also, I didn't check if be at peace was his um, random action. But on turn 8, I can play out both of these, so I don't have to hope it sticks. I can guarantee we're going to get two 4 cost 8 8s next turn. As I can't guarantee 8 8s, I can guarantee two 4 cost 6 6s. All right, hit the Oathman. I'll clear a path. We're going to play around to Dawn's Wrath by putting our other guy over here. Those aren't bad targets to have hit. I'm just greedy, and I wanted to get him up to double digits. Why would you not hit this one? I guess because you think I can bring it back. Oh, that's... that's evil. Because it is a one cost. I want you getting rallied. Reload our hand. Honestly, this lane could really use us getting the new 3-drop. Because then they each get Rally and you get Rally too. I guess they each get Rally plus 1. Then we drop Balmora Captain. Then all of those rallies are, you become 2, 4, well, two, plus 2, plus 4, plus 7, plus 9. I'm assuming like a Dawn's Wrath here. Would he be Singleton running Sovereign Guard Hero? We must protect the Wellspring. Hi, you're big. They won't get past me. This battle's as good as one. Just leave this to my soldiers. The glory of House Redoran. I'm greedy. Leave this to my I want. So much rally. And we had lethal, and I blew it in order to get a 7 7 8 9. Worth it! Still worth it! I wanted to get all the rallies because that rally is a rally 3. That rally was a rally 3, so plus 9. That would give Singleton a chance to come back into the game. Cat on top of my desk. What you doing, Urist? And we've got a very rubbable Farkas belly. Let no one say that cat is not chonky. Because that cat is chonky. They will fall before they my shall blade. Have nowhere to hide.
waiting on the rope. So, what do I think of the deck? I think the deck could use some polish. But I think as it stands, it's a very playable, decent deck. The rallies are nice. Rallies are really nice. But yeah. Let's see what we get as our reward, huh? Legend 260? It's not terrible. Maybe we'll go for top 100 this time around. Who knows? Oh well. We got a giant slaughterfish. 20 gold. Giant slaughterfish is the cart, by the way. If you don't know what that means, you should top and stream. But I digress. Where's my ending queue? There's my ending queue. I got a stream deck for that. But anyway, thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed the games. I will continue on with the daily YouTube videos because I enjoy Tessel. And our YouTube channel is still growing, so there is that. If you have other ideas for what you would like to see, I'm investigating putting a third game into our rotation. So let me know. Current things I'm looking at are possibly putting in a tutorial for cards, or cards, K-A-R-D-S, the World War II trading card game. But I'm also kind of putting everything on pause, hoping Call of Myth comes out relatively soon, and we're able to do videos for that. We'll see. But anyway, subscribe, then you'll get any notifications. Otherwise, good vibes, and good night.